For our business spotlight today, we're checking in with Ohio Northern University and joining us today, Linda Nice, Associate Vice President for Academic Affairs at ONU. So thanks for joining us, Linda. You're very welcome. Good to be here. All right, so this is kind of a different business spotlight because the university got some grant money and um, awarded money from the state, and this is like a win-win. It's going to help the students and the workforce. So let's talk about this, uh, this money that you guys got for scholarships to help stu STEM students. Sure. This is money that the Ohio Department of Higher Education has earmarked for specific scholarships for students across the state of Ohio uh, who are studying in STEM related fields. Uh, this includes a lot of our healthcare fields as well. And so it's a chance for the state to say to uh, public and private institutions, can you help us to develop that workforce uh, here in the state of Ohio? But for us here at Ohio Northern, we also have the great opportunity of um, helping to bring students to ONU to study in these STEM related fields and healthcare related fields. Yeah, these STEM related fields are areas that Ohio Northern has good programs in. So it, it's kind of not surprising that you got some of that money. Yes, uh, we've tried to highlight some of those programs where there's both a lot of strong history and experience here at Ohio Northern, but also where that intersects with the demand, projected demand for Ohio's workforce in the next 10 to 15 years. Yeah, so what areas of the workforce? You mentioned healthcare. Is it like healthcare and yeah. engineering, or what kind of uh, workforce areas need help? And that's where you're going to try to help find some students. That's right. So this particular round of grant funding, uh, we focused here at Ohio Northern on healthcare-related. Uh, disciplines, nursing, medical laboratory science, pharmacy, um, as well as some of the research and development uh, fields, biochemistry, chemistry, biology, um, and uh, trying to say that we need to both build up the basic research behind what happens in our science and healthcare fields across the state, but also then in the practice of those uh, to serve Ohio's aging population and all, all of Ohioans. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how soon will this program start? I mean, are you looking at uh, high school students right now that can come in or students that are already on campus? So this is a program that recruits students who are new to the university, new to this field of study. So right now we are accepting applications for students to join us in the fall as first year new students uh, who would be in one of these areas. There's an application on our website uh, to say I'm an Ohio resident and I'd like to apply for an Ohio, Choose Ohio First grant from Ohio Northern. All right, this is exciting stuff. It's neat to hear how this is going to help the workforce, you know, the university and the workforce. What a neat thing to tell us about. Another aspect of this grant is that all students who do get selected for this scholarship have to complete a meaningful work-based learning experience during their time here. And so we work closely to partner our students with our career services and also utilize contacts throughout our faculty and staff to make sure that students get those experiences, whether that's an internship, a co-op, or some other kind of work-based research experience. Wow, this is really neat and fascinating. Linda, thank you very much for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, don't go away. First edition continues in a moment.